So where is this desire to engage in, in some sort of deep stuff in prayer that, that makes changes in lives and communities, if not in nations? Well, as always with these things, the place to start with is Jesus. And the amazing thing is that Jesus has already given us teaching and tools to do with incredible world-changing prayer that we know it's here in our hands every time we pick up the Bible, but it's probably known word for word in our hearts and we have forgotten how to use it. And I'm referring to what we comfortably call the Lord's Prayer as though it's the only prayer in the New Testament that Jesus taught about or is recorded. That's nonsense, of course. But let's consider the Lord's Prayer. You remember the background? The disciples, these God-fearing men who'd grown up with the promises, the rhythm of prayer, the prophets, the law, when they saw Jesus' prayer life, they knew he is the one we want to teach us. We have never seen prayer in the way that he prays and we've never seen the results of prayer that we see with Jesus. So let's ask him, which they did. And Jesus said, this then is how you should pray. And those are his words to you today and to me. This then is how you should pray. So, <clears throat> let's have a look. What does Jesus say? Well, the first stanza that he gives us is, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Well, let's just pause on this. We could spend a long time just considering this and then praying into it. Our Father. This is about family. I'm not a, an only child speaking about a father, but I'm speaking out of a family. They are my family and they are here on earth around me. And that's an amazing feeling that wherever I go on earth, my family may be found there. Who is the family that can turn to God and rightly call him father? Well, it's particularly here in the way that Jesus is talking, those who have been given power by God to become his children, as John writes in his prologue, chapter 1. We have an amazing ability to come to the Father because of Jesus and know him as a father, our father, and he is in heaven. This is just not about a, an earthly leader or a wisdom or a religion. It's about a relationship that changes everything. I am able to come because of Jesus boldly into the very presence of the king of the universe, the creator of the universe the one who holds it all together and is directing history towards a particular and glorious conclusion for those who believe. I can come to him and I remember that I'm on earth, I'm a stranger here. There is a sense in which this is not my home. I'm temporarily present in this world. And yet, even while I'm here, I am engaged in this relationship with my Father who is in heaven. One day I will see him, but he has his hand on my life. Hallowed be your name. Father, as I recognize you as God, as my Father, as I come into your intimate presence, I cry out to you for this broken, needy world. COVID, political difficulties, instability, wherever we look politically, economic uncertainty, poverty, 
natural disasters, the inequality between rich and poor, not just in individuals' lives, but with nations and regions of the earth. And that gap is getting bigger. Father, the sense of lostness, where is purpose? What's it all about? Father, come and glorify your name on earth. Display on earth the glory that you have in heaven by displaying the fullness of who you are, not just to those who know you, but break in for those who don't know you, so they may turn and see you. This is how you should pray, Jesus says. Come, break in, come and display who you are, not just in heaven, but on earth. Where on earth? Well, our starting point is where we are on earth. My home, my family, my circumstances, my neighbours, my community, my region, my nation. Come, Lord God, show yourself as God that people may see and be amazed and broken now, not by the effects of the world, but in brokenness before your glory, that they may turn to you and repent, responding to you. Father, this is what the prophets declared, that the day will come when the glory of the Lord covers the earth as the waters cover the sea. Ah, Lord, Lord, come and do it. You see, this is how we begin. Jesus said, this is how you should pray. So let's move on. <laughs> 